Hi, I'm Brian Johnson, and this is Better Cocktails at Home. And we are going to continue our uh, month theme of drinks here around Disneyland. And I have a guest. Uh, this is Craig Colonel Tiki Herman. And he is going to be kind of making the drink, actually, on this episode. Yeah, this is not a drink from Disneyland. This is a drink inspired from a flavor from Disneyland, another food item. Which I think is super cool. I mean, you know, like there's... I think Disneyland has a lot of stuff going on to it, and so I think you know, be able to take different parts of it and kind of do things with it, I think that's super cool. And I love to um, try different drinks from different people because everybody has their own style, honestly. As you start to make drinks, you kind of see what you like, see what you don't like. Certain bartenders make drinks you like, so it's kind of cool to play different things. So he's going to make it for us, yep. and I'm going to assist him. Excellent. Which is the first, first time in 200 episodes I get to assist somebody make a drink, which right. is kind of cool. Excellent. Um, this is the concert feature, so okay. named. Um, it is based on a kind of ice cream they used to get at the Carnation Plaza at Disneyland. What era, roughly? Uh, this would be until probably the 80s or so, okay. before they redid. Like It went down, it was only open for a little while, sometimes just during the summer. Um, the like the fantasy fair is there now, okay. but that used Rex where the bandstand used to oh, be, okay. where the where the they now have plays. It used to be yep. a carnation red and white, like because oh, okay. they also the refreshment corner was Coke, but Carnation also was involved, and they had a special kind of ice cream called Fantasia okay. ice cream. And I we had that's one of the stops. You had to, in Disneyland, you had to get Fantasia ice cream, and so like the flavor was associated with the yeah. park, and the flavor is banana pistachio cherry. Okay. A mix of the three different, like a spumoni, and instead of chocolate, it is banana ice cream. Is it actually like segmented like They're that? They're segmented, sort okay. of mixed together in sort of a mishmash of brightly colored. So I don't, sort know, of... I don't know if I ever had that as a kid. Yeah. I don't, I don't recall it. It's so like I one probably, of those, you know, it I was. It or... No, I think um, things like that become more popular now. Like everyone knows Dole Whip, but there were Dole Whips before Dole Whip. Yeah. Right? Like there was the. There's the mint julep. There, was, there used to be the Mardi Gras julep, which I don't even know if they make anymore. These are oh. non-alcoholic drinks you used to get in the park. But like there were certain food items you had to get before, you know, the internet made fandom sure. accessible, I yeah. suppose. Or at least these sorts of, um, I like to call them like shoes or gourds, like a Brian moment. You know, sort <laughs> of a, uh, you know, a, a iconography, we'll call sure. it, right? Right, a, a fan iconography. Yeah. Any, anywho... Um, one of my penchants in the tiki world is to make drinks based on ice cream um, or reasonable. other sorts of, it's just sort of where my wheelhouse has gone yeah. to with bakery treats and these sort of flavors with rum, with okay. all the different aspects to tiki flavors, your baking spices, it naturally moves to that and it works really well. And oh. I'm basing this on a, a Demerar rum that is then sort of uh, diluted a bit with, uh, here I'm using a, a, a Barbados rum, a Santa Cruz, or a, a um, I call them Santa Cruz, uh, um, a Virgin Islands okay. rum. So like anything from the Virgin Islands, uh, like a Crusian or a, um, and anything sort of dry, not Jamaica type of rum. Yeah, it's kind right? of a little, kind of like a nice middle of the road. Just... Right, like buttery, regular old, uh, um, uh, plain, like a, an aged rum rum. Like, along a, like with... a Dorley's Five Year or something? Uh, yeah, Maybe. that would that work fine. What you're looking for is just like, I'm using this for the spice and the vanilla t okay. flavors for it. And then I also use a, a banana liqueur. Um, the juice from uh, amarena cherries, the actual syrup, as the dark cherry syrup, the best dark cherry because I'm I'm emulating an Italian ice cream, okay. and the dark cherry in Italian ice cream is this dark cherry. Nice. So this is the flavor. Like instead cool. of getting a, like a cherry syrup or something, yeah, just the cherries from a, a really quality jar of amarena cherries. Okay. Or Toshi, you know, there's yeah. another. Um, um, and then pistachio orja, which I make myself. Awesome. Well, should we get I started have... with it? Yes. Let's do it. We'll Excellent. Kind of talk through it. All right. So go. Um, I start with my sweets because I like to then use that to wash out. Yeah. So you get right. that. Yeah. Sure. Right. Right. And so, so half ounce pistachio orja. And actually, I taste this the first time today because I've never had it, and it's super tasty. I love it. Can you use a regular orgeat if you don't have? I mean, you could. You made this. Handmade. Yeah, you could use an orgeat. There is a bit because it has that pistachio flavor that's missing. The drink would still work. It would be tasty. A little different, but right. But you know, you could also find like a pistachio coffee syrup, which might work. Okay. In, in a short run, if you don't want to shell and uh, and and uh, <laughs> do the work and soak and and, uh, and blend life. and uh, squeeze, which I do. Well. Because you get a superior product, yeah, I, I agree. and I'm looking for that flavor, you know. Yeah. But but I mean, any sort of a pistachio type flavor should work. Fine. Okay. 
And so we're using this as the uh, creme de banana from Tempest Fugit. It yes. has a really nice, like, rich, roasted banana. It's I love it. It's super tasty. Um, I've also used Giffard, which works just as well, too. Um, yeah. but, but, uh, and then here we have, I measure out my juice. So half ounce? Half ounce. Usually it's eight. I might get seven here. I always call the I always call the syrup from these cherry jars like liquid black gold. Yeah, because it's just delicious. Well, it's your secret Manhattan ingredient, <laughs> right? It's it's awesome. I mean, you know just the right amounts to take. Have you ever, the, have you ever take had, the edge off? Have of you ever that. had friends that be like, "Oh, I just you know I finished my Luxardo cherry jar, I just threw it out." I'm like, "Oh, uh, uh, I've had a number of people do that." Right. <laughs> and then we've got three quarter ounce of lemon on top of that. I was hoping to get three quarters out of this half, but pretty close, yeah. almost, almost. And then we'll do three quarters of our Barbados rum. I can also use Cruzion, Santa Cruz. Okay. Um, not like a Bacardi. Yeah. Not in like a dry Spanish. It yeah. should be a... Okay. Know. And uh, and then we want an ounce and a half. So this is two to one, basically. Three quarters to one and a half. Or two and a two and one quarter ounce total for the... Uh, yeah. For the drink. I'm sort of doing an 853 on a strong sweet sour. Okay. Which is, you know, it's uh, one of the things Jason Alexander has impressed <laughs> upon... Me use the joys of the Fibonacci sequence in order to guide your ratios. It's it's just a invaluable rubric. He's a talented guy. Invaluable rubric to have because they don't need to worry. You know, it's like notches, right? You're like, you can go on this side, you can go on that side when you're doing the ratios, and you can find your sweet spot. All right, so we've got that in there. This yeah. is a, and uh, um, I'm using a Hamilton Beach Drinks Master, which is... Craig know, brought this from his house. The, the, you I don't, know, sort I don't of the own one of these. Thing. We do six ounces of crushed or pebble ice. It's about one and a half ounces each, so I'm going to do four of those. I know right exactly where it needs to be <laughs> in there. And then we blitz it up. It's easy. It's very loud. Until, until you have frost. That's it. Just like when you're shaking, right? Have you made it without then, uh, using that? Like uh, you're shaking it up? Is it? Sure, it'll you don't work. Get much but you, it'll, it'll work, but you don't get this. Yeah. And there's a certain amount of mouthfeel that you also hey, let's get. Let's pour it in over here in front of the. Oh yes, right here. Camera. Right. You can look at the. And so this is, you know, a gated pour. I think maybe a. Diff there's been a bunch of like language all about this and what we're calling this for sure. tricks of how to basically just dump it, but you don't dump it all at once. You do a big dump. And then if you do it just right, you get those nice little... And you get the full glass every time. It fits, right? Of course. <laughs> and here we are. And then let me get a, a nice garnish. Naturally. Dun, dun. And we have that bamboo skin. I can like smell it though already. Mm-hmm. And you skewer. Here you go. Perfect. Thank you. And we'll just. You're so official in your garnishes. I wish I had this much, like, kind of, I don't know. I'm, right. I'm a little more loose on my garnishes, but. Right. I'm kind of have a nice little. Yeah. A little eye looking at you. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can, I can Gorgeous. smell it already. Yep. Cow. Should we try it? Yep. Let me, uh. Remove this. Okay, I'm going to try this one first because I've never had this yeah, before. Yeah. This is your original. Yeah, let's see what you think. My original concert feature. Named after Fantasia, the move, motion picture, which celebrated its 80th birthday in 2020. The pandemic made us lose that celebration. Um, its original name, while it was being worked on in secret, was called the concert feature. Okay. That's super tasty. I love the, like, 
I get all the lemon actually. Like it's not that yeah. much, but it really comes through. And then the lemon is in there to use to like cut everything yeah, else cause... down to cut all the sweetness, bring a brightness, and sort of lead you into the flavors like lemon versus lime. Limes tight, tight, yeah. tight, and pulls flavors together. Lemon sort of spreads them out and gives you this nice. Uh, background, which with the, to judge the others on, yeah. right, and then it allows like there's a, should be a sweetness, and then you should get that richness at the end too from the uh, Demerara rum, giving you that sort of baked, almost like a vanilla quality, yeah, like ice cream creaminess, and that comes from the Orja. One thing I thought I thought I'd actually taste more of the banana. I don't get much of it. Maybe let me, uh, let me uh, see what you think. I thought it actually come through a little more, but. Yeah, like I usually use Giffard. And that could be the difference. This is a little bit more. I might more... do a little bit more because it has a lot of the other sweetness. And yeah. like there are aspects to this banana liqueur that I'm using. I'm using like the rums for to make yeah. up for that, right? And so, but it's still there. It's, like, it's, it's, super it's there tasty. because it should be. It's that, it's gorgeous. Just pistachio cherry banana. Like yeah, that's... there are these flavor combinations that are delicious no matter where you put them. And if you know how to use them with the right amounts of, uh, you know. I like the color ones. of it. I think it's kind of like, actually, I was just watching Fantasia the other day. It was uh -huh. kind of like, if you watch it, it's like, it's kind of like a, this like dreamy And that ice cream looked it, like that. Because like, it was, it's sort of, yeah. It, sort yeah. Of was, it was green and red and white, but then there were yellow bits in so it too. Kinda, yeah, so it was the same. Cool. And the, uh, the ads for like the pistachio ice, or excuse me, Fantasia ice cream. And the same kind of thing. Had the same sort of, yeah, with the blue hmm. and, the, and the moving colors and stuff. So That's awesome. Yeah, and it recently came back to the parks 2019, I think, because it was gone for... 20 years? No, oh, really? I don't know. 15, 20? I, in the comments, if anyone knows <laughs> more about it. Um, I'm sure there's other Disney nerds out there. Oh, yeah. Fill us there's in a few. For everything that we messed up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. So the concert feature, super tasty. I'm definitely going to make this. I'm actually going to try it with Orgeat. Like, oh, orgeat, yeah. I don't, yeah. Have, no, I don't like, usually have pistachio. It's, um, it's a st I've got a, other, a couple other ice cream drinks that are on this yeah. sort of a structure. Like this I have is a actually on their drink. website. Yes, yeah, yeah so it's, on my, we'll, it's on my website. We'll put a link in there. You can go see it, the official recipe and everything. Yep. But yeah, if you make it, let me know how you like it. See what you think. Um, thank you for bringing the drink to us. Super you cool. Bet. And we're going to be back with more episodes on drinks from Disneyland this month. So tune in. We'll see you soon. Cheers.